This keyboard has changed the meaning of gaming keyboards. It's the Wooting 60HE and it is a proper gaming keyboard. Most other keyboards are, let's be honest, just keyboards with RGB built in. They might have a Windows lock function, a few extra keys and stuff like that. But to call anything a gaming keyboard in front of the Wooting 60HE is now blasphemy and should be punishable with jail time. This thing has an incredible amount of practical and customizable features that change what a gaming keyboard should actually come with. Wooting has actually made an effort to give you a keyboard that might actually make you... Yeah, you. Better at video games. Or at least they've given you the tools to do so. There are so many features on this keyboard that I'm actually really excited to tell you about and it won't even be all of them, it will just be a couple of my favourites. Do not worry, I will go through things like how it feels to type on and stuff like that, but interestingly enough, that's the least exciting thing about this keyboard. So the switches on this Wooting 60HE are analogue, which means it's constantly sending out information to your PC, which allows it to do one of my favourite things, which is per key actuation points. With mainly FPS games, I sometimes miss hit a key. Sometimes when in a 1v1, I'll jump randomly, start trying to melee someone or hit an ability key, that kind of stuff. As an example, I have the Fnatic Streak 65 LP, which has a low actuation point of just one millimeters. And oftentimes on this one in particular, it causes me an issue for miss hitting stuff. For those that aren't aware and a quick refresher, the actuation point is where the key switch sends the signal to the computer. So with the Wooting 60HE, you have a slider in the software where you can set what you want the actuation to be for all keys. So if you don't like a one millimeter actuation point or want something heavier or lighter, you can change it. And this will affect every key. I have a default actuation of just one millimeter for every other key, especially WASD. Then for some that I find are more important or that I sometimes miss hit, I have set to higher actuation points. So numbers one to six, Q, T and Z have an actuation point of 3.5 millimeters, which is roughly bottoming out. These are normally my ability keys in Apex or Overwatch. So now those keys that I miss hit normally will now have to be a meaningful press. As an example that happens often with my Fnatic Streak, I will sometimes mispress Q and just throw my ultimate out in Overwatch randomly. With this feature on the Wooting, it stops that as I have to bottom out the key press fully. And that's just the feature that I was like, I am doing this right now. Oftentimes I'd miss arrow keys or even just a few extras as personally I can't be bothered to really set up or remember function keys that much. And pressing function plus another key just isn't that fast. So you could have it set up so the number row of one to zero is obviously one to zero, but holding these keys will then trigger function one through 10. So you can have any key perform its normal function by tapping and doing something else when held in. Another great feature is called dynamic key press. So another good example for me is for Apex Legends. So if you don't have always sprint or double tap to sprint turned on, you can have it so when you press W starting from a one millimeter actuation point as an example, you can then have it so sprint activates when you have bottomed out the key press. What I've done as well is set the release of the shift key to be almost as soon as I lift it at 3.5 millimeters. So as soon as it's not bottom out, I will start walking again. All of this is possible because of the software, which again makes all other keyboard software look garbage. First, you don't have to install it. You can just visit the website and it will connect to your keyboard that way. Installing the software is just the same thing. There's also four onboard profiles. So if you remember the per key actuation points that are set up, you might not want that for every game. So you can have a standard setup, an Apex one or a League of Legends one, you get the idea. And then have different settings and features based on each profile you have. This is also just a fraction of features that this keyboard has. I'd go through them all, but then, well, if you thought this video was boring enough, it would just be even worse. But as another example, you can have controller movement on the keyboard as well. So I guess if you play racing games, you can have that joystick steering applied to W, A, S, and D as an example. There's full gamepad mapping as well. It just continues, so I'm just gonna stop there. But what about using it as a keyboard? Well, there's RGB. So those that are gagging for some color, you do get some. There's Dare I say, because of the analog keys, it's actually quite nice as it will light up more with heavier key presses. Very cool. Typing on it is great as I have set it to a one millimeter actuation point by default and it works fine for me and feels really comfortable. Here's a quick sound check if you'd like one.
And that's not all by the way, Wooting provides a few guides and information about customizing your keyboard from lubing the keys to changing the case as well. Personally, I think this is fine as it is, but I'm not a giant keyboard nerd. So would I recommend this keyboard? Yes, 1000% you should buy it. The more people that buy this keyboard, the more amazing interactions and features that people will come up with. I've only presented you the surface level stuff. The potential of this keyboard is going to be massive. I mean, I will be honest, I'm a bit of an idiot. So it's not like I can sit here and theory craft all day with various games that I play coming up with cool stuff. I leave the smart people to do that for me. As I mentioned before, the per key actuation point was an instant hit feature for me. And that's just one feature out of many that this keyboard has, which is why this will probably be my main keyboard going forwards for gaming and everything, which is really unfortunate for any other gaming keyboard, because if I have to review one in the future, it literally has to go up against the best. Granted, there are many other gaming keyboards around and some of them do try to make an effort to be more gaming featured and to do something different. However, Wooting have literally just gathered every gaming keyboard that currently exists, put them in a big pile and then set it on fire. Because honestly, nothing I have used has ever come close to the features that this keyboard has. What I might do as well if I find any cool features or any other interesting interactions in any of the games that I play, I might do an update video once every couple of months or so or whenever I find something groundbreaking just to keep you updated on the interesting and very cool things you can do on this keyboard. Oh yeah, and in terms of build quality and stuff, briefly, it feels great, it's well made, it has a strap so you can carry it around, it uses USB Type-C See? And it's lightweight, so if you take it with you to places, it's not a massive burden. I mean, for example, I literally take this keyboard with me to the office and then back home. Also, if you want a gamer desk and have over a thousand dollars spare, we reviewed one, so watch it and maybe buy it. 